early January 2020, my first ever gas-fired oven. I'd bought a previous wood pallet, the Uni 3 oven, but this is my first gas-fired oven. I borrowed this pan. It was uh, supposed to be a cast iron pan, but cast iron pans don't warp. You'll know if it's not fully cast iron because it shouldn't be doing that. These are the things I learnt through my journey about what was good for these high heat ovens and what wasn't. But this fish was really lovely and very easy to make. And those were all the oils from the fish coming out there. Beautiful. With this pizza, in my learning to cook journey, I was trying to replicate images I'd seen on the internet and from pizza companies selling the pizza ovens. So I was gonna copy it and see how it came out. So this was my version of the ones I'd seen on the internet. I'm using all my homemade dough. I'll put the recipe in the description box below. I marinated some chicken cubes that I'd chopped up from chicken breast with some curry sauce overnight and cooked them then in the sizzler pan. So this was something I'd never tried before in the Coda 12. All of these dishes were first time cooks to see how the oven would cook it. And I'm not quite sure why I didn't pull the pan out to put the chicken in, but it worked anyway. I don't know how I didn't manage to get the oven filthy doing it this way, but this was the first time I'd done it. So obviously my practical common sense wasn't kicking in here, but it kind of worked. So I'm all right with that. The worst bit of this was the skewers. If you are using skewers, the metal ones are great because they don't burn up and can be used again and again and again. Problem is when you're trying to turn the skewers, what happens is it's just the skewers turn not the meat because the, the skewers, even though they've, they're have they not completely round, when you turn them, you're just turning the skewer. It's not actually turning the meat. So what I had to do was I had to really manipulate the, the skewers up and then turn the whole thing round somehow and hope that some of the chicken would turn with the skewer like that. I thought skewered cooking was supposed to be easier because you could you could move them around. So I'm not sure about it. I don't think it worked for what raw chicken meat. Maybe it works for vegetables, but it was a bit difficult. I mean, it is going around, you can see, but I did have a few issues. Oh, look, I think I've, what's happened here? Oh yeah, look, the metal bits now are at the back. The metal bits are at the back there because I had to get the back end of the dish cooked. So you cannot touch those metal bits, they would be super hot. The metal skewers were short enough to fit into the oven because I had to turn the whole thing around to get the meat cooked. But in the end it was absolutely delicious and then I used this. I put these bits of chicken onto my pizza and it was absolutely gorgeous. Cooking in the rain. These are the curry chicken pieces from the sizzler pan that I put on the pizza and this was lovely.
So here I learned to absolutely mess up my stone, but I also learned how to completely clean the stone, which was the best thing ever. So there is a video for this. It's linked up here in the top corner and in the description below. How to clean your uni pizza stone. And because I was getting to know this oven at this point, I was trying every single pizza I could possibly try. Bought some frozen pizza, cooked that, which is this. I bought supermarket pizza, cooked that. And here are all the different types of pizzas I was just experimenting with. See how they cooked in this oven. I'm not sure if I actually put these up on YouTube, but I did film them just for my, I don't know, I was just filming everything at this point. So yeah, I cooked, as you can see, that looks like um, a fridge pizza from a supermarket or frozen pizza. But that came out okay, didn't burn it, was really impressed with it actually. So the setting I learnt for cooking in this oven at an early stage was not to cook it on full flame. At this point, I think I was cooking on full flame. I just do not know how I could miss the stone. I've done this so many times now. It's really, I get so frustrated with myself that I miss the stone. There's no reason for it. I mean, there's no, I've just got to aim to the back of the oven and I still miss the stone. And this isn't my first pizza oven. I've got, at this point, I was using the Uni Pro and the Uni 3. Why I'm missing the stone is just complete, I don't know, mess up. This is pizza dough with some herbs on it, some mozzarella cheese that's been grated and loads of garlic butter. I call it garlic pizza bread. It's absolutely delicious. The smell coming from this oven right now, smelly vision. At this point in my cooking journey, April 2020, I feel that I was just being lucky here with not being burning my crusts and some of the tips I picked up from using the Uni Pro. It really is important to keep an eye on those crusts. Things can go quickly downhill within seconds. I 
I decided to grab the Uni 3, which I hadn't used for a really long time, just to get a sense of the difference between using the Uni 3 and the Coda 12. And it brought back a lot of memories, managing the pellets in the oven and the space of the roof with that front metal piece there. You're kind of limited with the the space and the, that brings the heat down so it's quite an intense cook in the Uni 3 so loads of memories were brought back and made me realise how easy the Coda 12 is to cook in that's what it made me appreciate because there's a lot of management with the Uni 3 with the pellets and the heat and the stone Coda 12 was so much easier and that's the pellets starting to ignite they weren't the most they weren't Uni pellets they were just like cheap pellets as you can tell, there's a lot of um, a lot of smoke happening. When that catches, it all goes and it goes super hot. So I cooked some lovely steak in this one. The video's up still. Hands up, who loves mushroom on pizza? Comment below. So at this point I hadn't made many pan pizzas and I bought this uni sizzler pan which I still have and I absolutely love and so I don't like pan pizzas very deep loads of people do but I like them thin yeah that's how I like them thin and this is like the perfect pan for me and Coda 12 did a really good job at cooking pan pizza it was really easy to make I'm still making pan pizza in the Coda 12 because it's um it's a nice size and the pan fits in there really well Here I started testing different toppings and I thought this was one of my fanciest. I actually loved this one. I loved the fact that I could graduate the colour of the red and the orange. I just thought this was like my favourite topping. It's completely overloaded, far too heavy, 
but I loved this. I loved, I remember making this one. It was my pretty pizza and I couldn't wait to cook it. And I love peppers too. What we call prawns in the UK. I'm not sure what they're called elsewhere, but we call them prawns. Big prawns and little prawns. King prawns and small prawns. Love them. And they're really, really lovely with garlic, garlic butter, absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I wouldn't cook them without garlic. They just absorb all the garlic juices and it's so lovely, yum. Not all of my pizzas come out good, but I'm happy to show the ones that didn't because I think it happens to all of us. If you've never burned a pizza, please comment below because I don't know how you've not burned a pizza. I find it so easy to burn a pizza. It's so simple and I do. And this is one of them. I burned it. Look at that. And it was a lovely pizza. Look at the rest of it. Basically, I just carried on, cut the crust bit off. We did eat that pizza. It was a waste to not do that just because of the crust. Oh, that was my mug design before I got Canva not sponsored.
This is a classic me, this one. Oh gosh, this isn't the first time I've done this. I've, I did a lot of this at the beginning with the Uni 3, but for some reason it'll just out of the blue, I'll do it again. And it's normally because my dough has got holes in and then it all goes wrong. And this is one of them. This is fab, I love this video. this happens to you what I'm doing is I'm heating the peel up to make the peel hot so when I touch the raw dough it doesn't stick to it but even on this dough it was so bad that even that didn't work This feels like when you're a cyclist, road cyclist, and you buy clip-ins and you forget to unclip at a junction, that's the feeling I got here. And then I burnt it. I burnt it then because I was fiddling with the front and the back was burning. Here I did a video that's comparing the Unicoda 12 size with the Unicoda 16 and the sizes of the stones and the oven dimensions and my two launch peels that I have there which are Epic Cottis by which I absolutely love. These toppings I think I got from a pizza recipe book but it's also influenced by south of France and there's anchovies and olives and there's no tomato sauce because I like pizzas without tomato sauce and it's got garlic and some onions and it's really tasty. I love this topping, I love the taste of this pizza.
here I decided to use the original uni peel just to see how it was. This is the peel I started off using when I bought the uni 3 and I think it came with the uni 3, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But this is the peel and I do love it, it's just an easy basic piece of metal to turn your pizza and to remove it from the oven. I don't think they sell it anymore. I used to sit down to cook pizza because of the height of tables and that's why I built the pizza kitchen uh, later on in the videos which you'll see I've got a pizza kitchen now sitting down to cook pizza was fine but it wasn't ideal so yeah that the height of these tables they're not high enough for my cooking eye level and this came out blurred because it was focusing on my lovely doggy instead of my pizza I blame the camera but it wasn't a camera all of the footage in all of this video is using an iPhone I think it was the old iPhone 7 Pro. You haven't been on a pizza cooking journey if you haven't done this. I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you're a beginner pizza cook, this will happen. If this hasn't happened to you, I've just got to take my hat off to you. But yeah, this is, this is definitely a few I've done. I don't do it anymore, thank goodness. But yeah, this, this has happened. And that was a lovely pizza as well. It was all nice. I, I don't think I could save this. This just went straight in the bin, unfortunately. My oven looks nice, even though it's been used for a while now. Look, it's uh, looking all clean and nice. Thought I'd just show that. This is me cooking pizza in a angle that I've never shown before with my phone. I don't, I don't know how I did this. I didn't have a tripod, and I had a like a lava mic attached to me, so I had to remember to always unattach myself if I walked around because the whole thing would just tear off my phone. I used to sit down with my phone with no tripod filming like this. Here I'm testing two cheese types. I've got grated mozzarella and buffalo mozzarella. I wanted to show how the Coda 12 cooks these two different types of cheese. I think they came out okay. I was impressed with both of them. I mean, I used buffalo mozzarella all the time, but I thought I'd start to use grated mozzarella as well, just to see what it's like.
So here I used a pizza docker tool because I was just cooking the base. I just wanted to show how to cook a base of dough in a pizza oven so you could cook the base and then you can top it later. But you've got to make sure that you put holes in the dough otherwise it'll turn into a big bubble in the oven. Now we've moved into the pizza kitchen. Oh, this was amazing for me. Um, I did it on a budget, tried to get a, get a pizza kitchen in, all wood, as cheap as I possibly could, but really good quality. And it has been, this is at eye height level. So we've got a table that's quite high. And then I've got this extra piece of um, block of wood that raises it up even more. And then the legs of the oven take it up higher. So it's just great. The best thing is to have eye level pizza cooking. So this was a chili pizza and it was very tasty because I put chili sauce on it and chilies. It was super hot and I love super hot chili and super hot chili sauces. So this was perfect.
these are meatballs but instead of doing them round I, I put them into blobs because I've used meatballs in the past and if you put them on as balls they roll off when you launch them into the oven so doing them like this stops them rolling off as you launch. Ha 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 ha! Hawaiian pizza had to do it. I had to do it. I don't mind Hawaiian pizza. I, you know, I'd never cook it at home. I cooked it because I know a lot of people do like it, but it's not something I'd ask for in a restaurant or anything. I'm on the fence on it. I don't mind it either way. I think actually, warm pineapple doesn't really work for me. But I do love pineapple, and I love the sweetness of it with a ham. But I just don't like warm pineapple that much. So. Yeah, but I have no feelings either way for it. it. It is what it is. You cook what you like. And so by this point of my pizza cooking journey, I was burning less and less and less. And also my dough wasn't holy. So I'd learnt a lot from the Coda 16 at this point as well. So I was getting better outcomes. In fact, 
I'd say that I hardly ever burnt my pizza now at this point, which you know should be the case because I've, I've kind of progressed a lot since 2019 here. My uni peels, the ones I had in my previous video, these are the uni peels, they used to spell it like that. This is the one I had with the uni three, still use it, still love it. So practical to have a, a metal, metal sheet just to use in the oven. Can't go wrong with that. And my favorite wooden peels, the Epicotis by 12 inch and for the 16 inch ovens. I love them so much. I've had them right from the beginning. They're years old and the way you look after them is that you do not leave them in water. You just wash them down after you've used them and then put them away. They don't warp and they are fantastic. That's why they look absolutely worn because they've been used in wood fired ovens. There's like wood and charcoal and yeah, wood. <laughs> so they have really been used. I have not had to change them. I've been using this one since 2018, I think. Yeah, and still going strong now. I'm still using it, have not changed it. This is a pizza with Nuja, I don't know how to say it, so I'm going to put it up on screen, but Nuja, Nuja is how you say it. I love it, it's gorgeous, really love it. It's like a real treat to have that on my pizza.
This is my family's favourite pizza, ham and cheese. Keeping it simple with some herbs. I honestly think as well, my pizzas are coming out better now because I can actually see the cook instead of the oven being lower. I do feel that since I'm at eye level, I've burnt a lot less of my pizzas. Saying that, that crust looks so, that was on the edge, that one. Blimey. And then I decided to learn to cook calzone, and I kind of enjoyed it, but it's not something I cook all the time. I just wanted to see if I could do it and how to do it but yeah i've gone back to pizzas now <laughs> And around here I started using block mozzarella cubed because I found that it was easier to do because with the buffalo mozzarella you have to make sure that all of the juices are rinsed out all the time. With block mozzarella I just freeze it, bring it out, chop it up, in it goes. It just was just made my preparation time much faster and to be honest the taste difference for me wasn't any different so I started using block mozzarella. Oh my gosh I get flour everywhere on me. I'm glad you can't see me because I am full of flour. I shouldn't wear like dark colours, I should wear white. But then when I wear white and I use wood I get all charcoal so I can't win.
my peel got stuck in the back of the kitchen thing and I started panicking because I thought, oh my gosh, my pizza's cooking and I can't get that out. I got it out, no props. So this is beer pizza dough. I made beer pizza dough with real beer in the dough and I absolutely loved it. This video is up in the link above and below. Gorgeous taste of beer because of the yeast. So yeah, highly recommend beer pizza dough or beer pizza, gorgeous. So this is herb pizza dough. So I put herbs in the dough as I was making it, I put dry herbs overnight in the water, and then I just put them in the dough. The recipe is in the link in the description above and below because I made a video on it and absolutely lovely. Just a nice different pizza to do. Great for pizza parties, things like that. Very nice. These are Welsh lamb chops and I cooked them in the sizzler pan and they came out really, really nice because they were cooking in the juices of the lamb. Very, very nice. And so there it is, my journey, my pizza cooking journey from 2019 to now and all of my mistakes are covered <laughs> and all of my good pizzas are in there as well and what I experienced that was my journey in one hour I hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe I've got more videos coming like this and please hit the like button and thanks for watching take care and I'll see you in the next one bye